I'm back. That's right. We're back at Bob or Flop. We're doing this again. The review format that I came up that's on brand for my YouTube name that I'm stuck with forever. And uh, it's been a while. It's It's been since like February since I've done one of these, but it's it's hard to find time to play video games, let alone like spend hours on end editing clips together and trying to sound like I'm smarter than I actually am. So as always, I'm going to avoid showing footage or talking about things that I didn't experience within the first five to 10 hours of the game. I don't know if I've ever said that that's my thing, but that's my thing. On the surface, this game has a lot of resemblance to those darn Souls games that you gamers and girlmers seem to like so much. So I'm probably gonna be comparing it to Elden Ring quite a bit because that's the most recent Souls game that's, uh, that's bullied me. I'm dead. <laughs> But don't get me wrong, this is the good kind of bullying, like stealing someone's lunch money or stuffing a nerd into a locker. It's all in good fun. And just like that Black Myth Wukong, I struggled so hard to say myth. Black Myth Wukong, uh, and I lost my train of thought. God. Black Myth Wukong is a lot more lenient with the difficulty than something like Elden Ring. Whereas Elden Ring might take me 50, 60, 100 times to beat someone, like a major boss, like Verdun. Let's go! I'm never playing this fucking game again! It only took me a handful of times with Wukong to get the pattern recognition and move on. Another thing I really appreciated that was different from Elden Ring and, and Souls-like games is that uh, when you die, there, there's no big punishment. You don't have to kill the guy that killed you. You don't you don't lose all your stuff, your runes. You keep all the experience you gained, and you get up and you, and you try again. And because of this, if you're having difficulty with a boss, you can just grind some minions for a few lives, get some new monkey tricks, go back and try again. I, I personally prefer it this way over the Elden Ring death punishment because it still maintains the same level of difficulty needed to face a challenge, like a big challenging boss, without stressing me the hell out. Like, if I've only got a certain amount of time to play something per hour, I don't wanna be stressed about, am I gonna waste 40 minutes and just lose all my shit in one go? I don't, I don't need that. I've seen some people complain about the invisible walls in a game, and, and I get why that could be immersion breaking, and, to be honest, it just didn't really bother me. I mean, I, I get so nervous about whether or not I'm heading in the right direction to begin with that it's nice for a game to just be like, nah, just go go over here. You don't need to explore the forest just to run into a dead end. But I'm not all positive. I do have depth, you know? I don't just love something or hate something. I have complexity. So I will say something that I do have a gripe with, and this isn't a spoiler because it happens so early on, so whatever. In the beginning, you meet and play as the original Wukong, and he sounds so funny and goofy, and he's just like a big, all-powerful, godlike troll. Good. I was in need of a back scratcher. <laughs> and I was locked in on playing as this goofball. But then some time passes, and you end up playing as a silent Link-style protagonist who is like a reincarnation or some shit. I don't know. Didn't pay attention to that much of the cutscene. But whatever, because the combat and the visuals are both incredible. The, the Chinese mythology, for me at least, is a super untapped vibe in video games, and I was fully into it right off the bat. Not to mention I'm a simple weeb, and I saw Wukong, and I thought, well, 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 well Goku's based off of Wukong, so I, I better play this video game. So they they had me. I was, I'm simple. And on top of that, getting to beat the shit out of these wacky big blue babies with a stick, and I could not have been more in just from the curb appeal. But then actually playing the game and like getting into the combat, it's it's something like a mix of your Elden Ring, Souls-like, real technical, hitboxy stuff, and like a Devil May Cry that has a lot more flourish and dramatic finishes kind of stuff. Because you can do some pretty crazy shit in this. So all in all, this game is fun as hell. It looks incredible. Have you seen the shorts with all the leaves? People are talking about it. And it challenges me without being overly punishing and making my wife ask me if I'm okay. So that is why, in my humble fact, that this game is a certified bopperoonie. That's right, that's the verdict. You can leave. Thank you, bye. <laughs> Yeah,